What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to work on our dealer cards for our blackjack game with Kinter and Python. All right, guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to work on the dealer's cards. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, as you can see here, we've got a game going here. I hit stand. We then need to deal out more cards to the dealer, maybe, depending on what their hand is and then determine who won the game or not. So that's what we're gonna to start to look at in this video. So we can play around again here. We have 13, when I hit stand, uh-oh, now we have 23, the dealer busts and the player wins. So I'm gonna to have to look it up. I can't remember if it's 17 or 16, but if the dealer has either 17 or 16 or above, they have to stand. Otherwise they have to take a new card. So if they have 12, for instance, they have to get a new card no matter what. So, uh, like I said, I can't remember if it's 17 or 16. We're going to use 17 because, I don't know, that seems about right to me. But if it's 16, we can easily change that later. So, you can see right here, the dealer has 19. If I stand here with 18, the game's over because 19 is greater than 17. So, the dealer doesn't need another card. They have to stand. And 19 is more than 18, which the player has. So, we could see here that the dealer wins. Uh, we could kind of play around with this. Now, we've got 8 for the dealer and 11 here. Uh, if we hit me, I don't know, we could stand. You can see, boom, a whole bunch of cards get dealt out real quick. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. And you can see it says the player wins because the dealer has 25. We haven't built in the functionality to convert an ace to a one for the dealer yet. We'll probably do that in the next video. We'll also need to build in the capabilities for both the dealer and the player that if they get five cards, they win automatically as long as they're not over 21. So we'll do that as well in a future video. In this video, we're just going to work on dealing out these cards for the dealer, adding up the totals and seeing who wins. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the Kinter playlist with over 200 other Kinter videos. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our code we've been working on. I've renamed it blackjack underscore six dot pi. The last video is blackjack underscore five dot pi. So check that out if you haven't seen it so far. And let's come through here and let's go to the very bottom here. And here we have this stand button. And let's give this a command. So command equals, and let's just call this stand. Call it anything you want. So now we need to create this stand function. So I'm going to come back up to the top here. And let's say stand. And let's define stand like that. So we need to keep track of the score, the cards, and the totals. And we've already done this before. So I'm going to come down here to our blackjack shuffle function. I'm just going to grab this guy, new function. We need to redefine all these things. So, okay, we'll set out, we'll start out with the player total of zero and the dealer total of zero. So now let's get the dealer's score total. And we already know how to do that. We can come down here from the last video and let's see, grab this code and just modify it a little bit. So let me pop this in here that and we probably should tab all this stuff over. Okay, so for score and now this is going to be dealer score, which we've defined elsewhere in the app, right? And let's call this dealer underscore total. Okay, I'm also going to paste this in again, because we also need the player score. So Okay, we'll have that. And then also whenever we stand, we need to freeze all the buttons so that the player can't get more cards or anything like that. So Let's come down here. We did that earlier. And let's see right here. We could just grab this come back up here and let's say freeze the buttons. There we go. All right. So let's do some logic. <laughs> That's a good comment logic. So, all right. First off, we need to determine whether or not the dealer has 17 or above. If they do, you know, that changes what we do after that. So let's go if dealer underscore total, which we've, you know, added up right there. Let's say that if that is greater than or equal to 17. And like I said, I can't remember if it's 17 or 16. I was too lazy to look it up. If it's 16, you would just put 16 there. So you guys can look up the rules of blackjack. And let me know in the comments whether or not this is 17 or 16. I think it's 17. So if the dealer gets 17, if it's 17 or above, then what do we want to do? Well, first, let's check if bust. So let's do if dealer underscore total is greater than 21. Let's just say bust, right? L if 
and we'll fill this in in a bit here. Let's say LF dealer underscore total equals the player total. Right here we have a tie, right? LF, let's go dealer underscore total is greater than player underscore total. Then dealer wins. Else, I suppose the player wins. Right? So this is all going on if the dealer has 17 or greater. Because, like I said, if the dealer has 17 or greater or 16, whatever it is, then everything stops, right? We, the dealer doesn't get any more cards. We just have to figure out, hey, you know, what do they have? What does the player have? We compare them and we can go from there. Else, we need to add card to dealer and then, you know, recalculate stuff. <laughs> recalculate stuff. It's a very good comment. I'm very good at comments. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much all we need to do. So for here, we know already how to deal out cards to the dealer because we built that out when the game first started, we have to deal out cards. All we have to do is call the dealer underscore hit function, right? So that's pretty easy. And when we wanna recalculate, well, we just wanna run this whole function again, right? The stand function. So we can just call the stand function again, right? So if the dealer's cards are greater than or equal to 17, we're doing all this stuff else, it must mean that the dealer has less than 17. If the dealer has less than 17, well, then we want to give him another card and then calculate everything again. Go through this again, check to see if it's over 17 or if it's equal to 17. If it's not, you know, hit another card, run it again, check to see if it's equal to or greater than 17. If it's not, deal another card and it'll just keep going through there until, until this becomes true. Okay, so that looks good, I think. Now, again, we're not calculating whether an ace is in there and we need to convert it to 11. We'll do that in the next video. We're also not calculating if five cards have been hit yet. And if they are, you know, the dealer automatically wins as long as they haven't busted. We'll do that in a future video as well. But here, we're pretty much done. We just need to now determine what we want to do when the dealer busts, when there's a tie, and when the dealer wins, right? And also when the player wins. So what I'm going to do is just pop up some message boxes, right? Because everything else is frozen. The buttons are frozen. So the player can't hit anymore because the hit button is frozen. And the stand button is also frozen because so they can't stand again. So if a message box pops up and it says, you know, so and so one, the game is essentially over anyway. So we don't need to do anything else but pop up a message box. And then when they close that, the shuffle button is still sitting there. If they want to play another game, they can shuffle and play another game. So, okay, pretty easy. I'm just going to come down here and find a message box from earlier. There we go. And just kind of grab it and we'll just kind of rough this in here. So let's come back up here to the top and let's start out with if the dealer has greater than 21. Well, that means they busted, right? So let's go player wins. And I'm going to create an F string here. And I'd like our totals to be in the message box so we know, oh, the, you know, the dealer had 47, if the player had 12, whatever the scores are, I want to put it in there. So let's go player wins and let's say dealer. And then here we can just say dealer underscore total. And then here we can go player. And here we can go player underscore total, right? Okay, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole thing because we're going to do this a few more times here. So that's good for bust. If the dealer busts, then obviously the player has won, right? So we don't really need to do anything else there. Otherwise, if it's a tie, if the two scores equal, and here we can say, I don't know, push or tie. So is a tie a push now at the end? Or is a push only a push when the dealer and the player has blackjack? I don't know the rules on that. So I'm just going to call it a tie. And let's say uh, tie or it's a tie, Woo. and then we've got our scores here. Okay, that looks good. Otherwise, the dealer wins because the dealer's total is greater than the player's total. So here, let's say dealer wins, Zoop. dealer wins, and we change this to say dealer. Okay, otherwise, the player wins, and we've already got that. So, okay, that looks 
pretty good, I think. Let's go ahead and save this and run it, see if we messed that up. That was a lot of copying and pasting. And anytime I copy and paste like that, I always mess something up. So I'm in my C GUI directory. Let's run Python blackjack underscore six dot pi. Okay, so this is 18 and this is five. If I stand here very clearly, the dealer is win wins 18 versus five. All right, so that looks good. So you notice these buttons are both grayed out. If we wanna keep playing, we have to start over. And here we have 19 versus 12. Uh, let's try it again. Stand dealer wins 1912. Okay, that seems right. Here we have 16 and 20. So 16 is less than 17. So the dealer has to get a card if we hit stand. So let's do that. And we see 16 plus eight is 24. Yep, sure enough, 24 to 20. That looks correct. So here we have 17 and 19. So if we stand here, the dealer has 17, the player has 19, the player wins. All right, so it seems to work and we could keep playing around with this. Uh, let's hit me again. Oh, we got 20 now. So now dealer has 25. And again, you'll notice this should be converted to a one and this should be 15 instead of 25, but we haven't built that in yet. We'll probably do that in the next video. Should be pretty simple since we already did that for the player. But uh, yeah, this is looking pretty good. Oh, oh, here's a good one. Let's try this one. Stand. So, oh, the dealer has 22, player 14, player wins. So let's spot check this, 7, 10, 22, dealer 22. All right, seems to work. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.